We were blessed with so many music videos from Taylor, but here I am. I still want more. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Emma. You are so, so welcome here. Today, we're doing quite a fun video, I think. And as you know from the title, I just wanted to go through songs that I think deserved music videos. More specifically, Taylor Swift songs that I think deserved music videos. I just thought, like, I've got to do this. Like, this is my calling in life. Taylor, if you're watching this, there's still time. Please. <laughs> But this is just fun. Look at that fun! It's a series that I definitely think I could continue. I could do this with Ariana Grande, Charlie XCX, and I'm doing a deeper dive into Lana Del Rey at the moment too. So yeah, like 15 songs that I think could have done really well in a music video. First of all, let me know your prediction below for what you think is gonna be on this list because we know there are a few that everyone is like, why the heck not, girl? Come on. It's okay. It was a couple albums ago, but you can still do it. We don't mind. I love talking to you guys in the comments about stuff like this. Now, we're going to start this list off with a bang. Bangs! Okay. Imagine if there had been. Now, I know why there isn't. I know why there's. Oh my god, the moon looks stunning right now. You want to see? See the moon? Cute. Good night. Oh my god, my water cup. Sorry. <laughs> so I know why there wasn't a music video for this and that is just far too emotional. Imagine an all too well music video. Guys, I'm talking a couple of things here. It could be like a single shot, very like when she re-releases Red, I'm still holding out hope in my delusion for the full unedited version of All Too Well. And I wonder if she'll do like a new music video. That would be amazing. Imagine like a one take where she's just staring at the camera or very like um Justin Timberlake Cry Me a River where he basically has like a Britney Spears like lookalike coming in. Like you could definitely do that with Jake Gyllenhaal. Just saying. Realistically, I know why there wasn't one. Like it's just like too much of a deep cut. But also, I would like to see it. Okay, this next one is The Moment I Knew. So again, yes, it's pretty sad, but I would have loved like the imagery of her at her birthday party and being so upset. I mean, kind of like delicate where she's like around all these people. She's just like not in it. I think that it could have been stunning. I just basically want to see more all the time. We were blessed with so many music videos from Taylor, but here I am, I still want more. And now we're gonna get to, this one is like the one I probably feel like almost the most passionate about is dress. Now, I would have loved a dress music video. As you know, it is my favorite orgasm song. The orgasm song to end all orgasm songs. Hear me out. I would have loved Diana Agron to star in the music video. Now listen, listen, listen. Diana Agron, my favorite band is The Killers and they have a music video for Just Another Girl. That's probably one of my favorite music videos ever where she like lip syncs the whole song. I'm sure she does it as well in like a Sam Smith song. So she is so stunning and is perfect for like just going through different sets different just like backgrounds and stuff and lip syncing the song and i would have loved like in the style of just another girl where you go through all of these different songs but they're actually all about the one person and for dress i think that could have been really cool and i would have just fucking loved that tease to myself <laughs> Swift Nation, let me know. okay this next one we all know we all know getaway car taylor please it is not too late we, I just did a reaction, I just filmed it like 20 minutes ago to the Wildest Dreams music video. I'll put it in the cards for you guys. When she was leaving at the end, I literally was like, get away car, oh my God. So like, imagine. Imagine like a music video where it literally started of her driving away from the Wildest Dreams music video into a getaway car music video. See how you respond in a carjacking situation. Okay. Wow. Especially because like, I know that it was, like, right after that, and I haven't seen the Look What You Made Me Do music video yet, but you guys have told me that it picks up right where Out of the Woods um, leaves off. You could still do that with this song too i think it'll be amazing by the way if you want to follow me on instagram i always talk to you guys about what you want to see um what's coming up soon so it really helps support me and helps me grow honestly as well so if you did want to follow me on instagram i always have it linked for you guys and i do really appreciate it and if you don't okay this next one this one i i think i i popped off with this one am i a music video director no will i ever be I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> Imagine a music video for I did something bad and it's, you know, in the bridge when it's they're burning all the witches even if you aren't one. Imagine it's all the girls from Bad Blood. Like I did something bad blood and like all the girls come in and they're like hated on by society being burned for being witches when really they're just women. Um, I, 
I get chills when I think about that. And I only thought of it today. So I'm really cold. <laughs> And now there are a few off of Lover here that I'm just like, just please do it. I don't know how you're going to do it, but please do it. It's not too late. Cruel Summer, please give me a music video. Please. Oh my God, please. The Archer, I need that. You know how much I love The Archer and how much I love Supercut by Lord and like the parallels there. Imagine if it was just Lord in the music video and then Taylor did one for Lord. That's my religion. Cornelia Street. I need like a, okay, actually I do have a thought for this. <laughs> If you've never seen, it's by the Lumineers. They did like this big trilogy of music videos and put it into like a 30 minute video. I'm gonna link it for you guys below because it's really good. I watch it when I'm trying to upset myself. It's like the story of one person. It's like all different stages in life. And it's it's really, really good. And I think that you could do that with Cruel Summer, The Archer and Cornelia Street. I don't know in quite in what order, but like it all taking place in like a summer. A cruel summer? In my mind, Cruel Summer is set on Cornelia Street and the Archer is what happened behind that garden gate. This next one is Invisible String. We're getting into the more recent albums and in Invisible String, I mean, we kind of saw it in the Willow music video. I feel like that was like an homage to the Invisible String. I would love to see something like kooky, like a little bit experimental with like the Invisible String. Almost kind of like the day and night music video, I think. You could do it like stop motion, quite cool. Just something totally different and like unexpected. That could definitely be done with Invisible String and you're just like watching someone the Whole song and then at the end they end up where they're supposed to be with that person or oh my god imagine it was like a self-love anthem and they followed the invisible string all the way up to like a mirror and it was just the person that they were being led to why am i gonna cry well if you yell at me i'm gonna cry <laughs> was themselves <laughs> I think I'm like gonna come on my period or something or maybe I'm just a mess and we've been in lockdown for a year and I don't know what to do with my life might be the period though so Anyway. The next one I think would be really amazing. There's so many off folklore, obviously, because they're like storytelling folklore and evermore that I think could be so cool in a music video. Namely, The Last Great American Dynasty. You could literally just cast anyone, have them play Rebecca, and then have Taylor come in at the end. And then it was bought by me. You know? Like the costuming could be sick, it could be so good. It could You could go all out like Gatsby style. And you could, oh my God, you could have Easter eggs to like the whole folklore evermore universe in there like in the party like in the background like someone showing up to betty's party that rebecca was throwing and you know you could have people tossing pennies in the pool anyway enough out of me just kidding we've got like five more songs this next one i think could be a, like a quick one and done a music video would be seven get some little kids like in willow could be the same kids from willow that'd be stunning actually or like a young taylor and abigail to do seven just be so beautiful i think the next one that would be gorgeous mirrorball i think that could be so like experimental ali and aj style music videos if you haven't seen the music videos if you haven't heard their new music mamas you are missing a treat it is a 10 out of 10 for me they are really running pop just saying. And in like their music videos, it's very like stroby lights. It's also like so gorgeous, but also so sad. Okay, the next one being Gold Rush. Now I saw a TikTok and when Taylor eventually tours, please God, please Lord with me, let Taylor eventually <laughs> tour, that she comes on and she's like in a silhouette at the stage for the intro of Gold Rush. And then she like steps into the light and starts singing that, I don't like a gold. I don't know where I'm going with this because that's more like, concert style so i guess it's not music video but i'm just still not over gold rush <laughs> also in some of these music videos imagine if she had olivia rodrigo star in them just saying we're on the second to last song now this has gone too quick and that is champagne problems the amount of fan videos i've seen for champagne problems i've seen little women i've seen countless gilmore girls ones i've seen so many go i watch too many fan videos it is my biggest character flaw but also my biggest personality trait <laughs> champagne problems would just be gorgeous that one i would love to see different couples if there was like no budget if there was no rules literally like people from gilmore girls or the characters from little women like actually bring them in and like do it for real that'd be amazing can you imagine i can that's why we're here and the last one is dorothea because I just think that could be gorgeous. And I've seen some people uh, speculate that it's about Selena. I would love to see Selena in another Taylor music video. I know that she's doing her own amazing thing right now. I mean, that could be really gorgeous. And Dorothea really reminds me of Hackensack by Fountains of Wayne, which is like about this guy singing to a girl saying, if you ever come back to Hackensack, like I'll be here for you. I used to know you when we were young and now you're really famous. And the reason I know that song is because Katy Perry did a cover of it. Look it up, it's really good. It's just such like 
a strange parallel for me because obviously there was beef between them and the songs are so so similar and they just like hit the same nerve in my crusty frozen black heart anyway that was just so fun and like I said I would love to do this for other artists but let me know below who you guys would like to see and like I said maybe like some more suggestions I appreciate you guys so much you've really been riding for me lately supporting me and it is just like changing my life so thank you like truly from the bottom of my heart if you're new to this channel you don't know we are all besties here I love talking to you guys and I wish you guys would like make friends in the comments like stranger danger I know I just feel like this channel is definitely a place for people who don't always feel like they have somewhere to go and now you do simple as I'm not getting too choked today because I just don't have it in me anyway love you so much see you in my next video bye guys Thank you.